welcome again for another tutorial. So for today, we'll learn about how to cache or add shadow to your text or logo using GIMP. GIMP is an open source image editor that you can use as an alternative to Photoshop and Illustrator. But before we start, remember to press the like button and hit subscribe. This helps me motivate it and create more contents like this one. Now that we get that out of the way, let's dive into it. So first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to open our application. Once our application is open, we're going to click file and then hit new. And then we want to make sure that our background is white. So we go to fill with and then hit white. Press OK. Now, once we have our file created, the first part of the exercise is casting a shadow on the text. So we're going to click the text tool and then we're going to change the font and size. We're going to type John VS. Now we're going to start casting shadow. So you go to filters and then go to light and shadow and then drop shadow. So in here, we already have a slight idea what the filter looks like. So we're going to run, I'm going to run you through this one by one. So X and Y corresponds to how far the shadow is being cast from, uh, from your text. And then the blur radius actually corresponds to how smudgy your blur is. So if you guys have a, an idea how this looks like. And then the grow rate radius actually corresponds to how thick the radius, uh, the, uh, the shadow is. So if you actually put a little bit higher, you can see how thick it gets. So we're just going to leave it as it is to zero. So this way the shadow has the same width and size as the model it's getting its shadow from. Now opacity uh, corresponds to how opaque your shadow is. So the higher it is, the, the less, um, the, the more opaque it is. So. If you, if you can actually see from the screen, the, put, the more I put it a little bit higher, the more it's getting opaque. And then here in the blending option, there's another opacity, but this corresponds to the overall opacity of the shadow. So if you already set this, you can again set this uh, lower, but again, your maximum will be based on the opacity of your actual opacity of your shadow i don't know if that makes sense with you guys so once you cast the shadow uh you should hit okay and you're good with this now one of the tricks that i find is how to cast a shadow a little bit in a cartoonish like especially if you're making logos so um so we're, go we're going to try that one out in a logo. So, but first thing that we need to do is that we need to import our logo. So we go to our folder and then just drag our logo. So this works well with a PNG with a transparent background. So we're going to, we're just going to drop and drop our logo over there. And then once we have our logo, we go to filters and then light shadow and then drop, drop shadow. So. One of the things that I, what that I do the, to make it a little bit cartoonish is, I usually just put this as a preset. Uh, what I'll do is that I'll put the radius as all the way to zero, maybe around one point, one point five, one point five, and then I'll leave it this as it is, and then I'll put the opacity at the top and then I'll change the color something like this so already it kind of it's already looking a little bit cartoonish so one of the things you could do is that make it a little bit thicker and then once you're done with it once you already have the preference that you like 
but it's okay so yeah then of course you can move it around if you want to so this this already looks like a little bit cartoonish so there's there's two difference in how you can make uh or how you can cast shadow using kim and there are many ways you can use this and even in the filter section there's different ways you can u even use a bloom so um on later tutorial I'll, I'll talk about how to use some of the shadow techniques that i usually use when creating logos or using using gimp on other stuff as well hey guys thank you very much for watching if you like what you see press that like button and hit subscribe this helps me motivated in creating contents like this one until then take care and i'll see you in the next one take it easy